because I'll fuck around and get a lawsuit. So I have yeah. to be very, very careful with speaking about certain situations. Right. Gotcha. Exposed for taking banned supplements prior to the fight, Ryan Garcia has left everyone stunned and disappointed by his desperate attempt to win. The main man, Floyd Mayweather, shared his two cents on it during a Come Talk To Me podcast. Having supported Ryan through everything, from going on runs with him to going to see basketball matches together, you can only imagine how disappointed Money Mayweather must have been. And that showed when Floyd broke his silence on this hot topic. Those two are now friends turned enemies. There's a lot to talk about, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. The Ryan Garcia hype train left the station when he annihilated Devin Haney, who was considered to be the best in the scene. Well, the hype train hit a roadblock when it was discovered that Garcia took illegal substances to help him come out victorious in the bout. This news took over the internet and received all sorts of reactions from fans and the pros. And it was about time Floyd Mayweather shared his take on the subject. Floyd was asked on the pod regarding what he felt about Ryan's positive drug test, and his response is not one to miss out on. I just know I was always a clean fighter. You know, I can't really speak for nobody else. One thing about me is that I've always been clean. He further added, You know what's so crazy? I'm the one that started random blood in your intestine and everybody had a problem with me bringing that to the table basically saying that every fighter should be on an even playing field. So fighters would even go through these type of things if you was doing random blood in your intestine. Y'all should have done it the Floyd Mayweather way, and we wouldn't be in this situation. I can't speak for nobody else. <laughs> you know, I can't really speak for nobody else. But one thing about me, I've you always been a intestine. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what's so crazy? As a former student and now a master of the game, Floyd knows the amount of hard work that goes into this sport. Therefore, taking shortcuts as Garcia did is not something a formidable fighter like Floyd is a fan of. But it makes you wonder how Floyd manages to make every single thing about himself. And I'm sure you noticed how he didn't even mention Garcia's name once. But hey, he did get his point across. You heard the man Ryan should have done it the Floyd Mayweather way. But the drama doesn't just end here. This is what makes things even more interesting. Did you know that Ryan came in three pounds overweight for his pro bout with Haney? Yep, you heard that right. And word on the street is that Mayweather had something to do with that. Yep, Floyd involved in something controversial? Wouldn't be the first time. So when Floyd was asked whether he advised Garcia to come in three pounds heavier on the podcast, let's just say, his response didn't make his case any stronger. With me on here with you guys right now, I believe that they are going with the New York Commission. There are huge problems with the WBC and there are certain things that I can't speak on because I'll get a lawsuit, so I have to be very, very careful speaking about certain situations. Now, this was a simple yes or no question if you ask me. Floyd is trying to twist his words, which only implies one thing. And that is Mayweather knows more than he's letting on. Who knows, perhaps Money Mayweather did tell Ryan Garcia to come in three pounds heavier. And let's not forget how much of a difference can three pounds make. This was well stated by a fan who posted a tweet saying, Haney couldn't take those left hooks. Those three pounds added more pop to Garcia's already strong left hook. Garcia knew what he was doing coming in overweight. Haters come now with the crybaby excuses responses. I'm ready. Oh well. Gotta give it to this guy because he's coming up with facts. On April 20th, we witnessed history when two of the best fighters in the world, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, stepped into the ring together for an epic battle. Pros considered this to be an even matchup, however, some had Devin Haney getting the job finished early on but not a single soul saw coming what actually happened in the fight. It was a complete domination by Garcia. The flash dropped Haney on the canvas, not one, not two, but three times. If that's not embarrassing, then I don't know what is. Ryan Garcia was good, perhaps too good, which later sparked the question of maybe he was involved in taking some illegal substances. And turns out he was. Garika's both A sample and B sample returned an adverse finding for Osterine. 
Now keep in mind that Osterine has been on the World Anti-Doping Agency's banned list since 2008 and in 2022 was listed as an anabolic agent by WADA. Ryan's whole world slipped from under his feet. The whole boxing community was bashing his name online and rightfully so. You can't really blame them, can you? Injecting yourself with a banned substance isn't going to get you your own parade. But what Garcia said regarding the whole situation really makes you think about the entirety of the situation and how much of it's actually true. I don't know where the adverse finding came from. Garcia told ESPN on Saturday in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, hours before he was ringside for Oleksandr Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Honestly, bro, I don't. I was taking ashwagandha, D3, omega-3, I don't know what Osterine is. I have seriously no idea. I would tell everybody the truth. Garcia claiming not to know about Osterine is as strange as it sounds. But get this. Just when you thought things couldn't get any bigger, they did. Ariel Helwani just dropped the news of the month on Platform X and let me tell you it changes everything. The two supplements submitted by Ryan Garcia on VADA's doping control forms have reportedly returned positive for Osterine contamination. Yep, you heard the right. Ryan Garcia never intentionally took Osterine in the first place. His supplement was contaminated. An official statement was released by his team, which states as follows. Ryan was a victim of supplement contamination and has never intentionally used any banned or performance enhancing substances. Any claims to the contrary, questioning Ryan's integrity as a clean fighter are unequivocally false and defamatory. They also added, the ultra low levels of Osterine detected in his samples in the billionth of a gram range, along with his clean hair sample prove contamination rather than intentional ingestion. The recent test results reiterate this. I don't know about you guys, but this makes total sense to me. And let's not forget there have been moles inside Ryan's camp before. When Ryan took that tough loss against Gervana Davis, he said someone from his camp ratted out his game plan. And now for the Devon fight, we're dealing with Osterine contamination. So who knows, maybe we're dealing with another mole. Throughout his career, Ryan has always been committed to fair play, voluntarily taking tons of tests, and let me remind you that they've all come back negative. This really shows his dedication and respect to clean competition. Plus, he had multiple negative tests right before his fight against Haney, proving once again that his record is as clean as always. Team Garcia will hold a press conference next week to provide more insight on the matter. Attorney Paul Green, who is representing Garcia, said they're hoping to agree on a ban of four months or less after the two supplements were reportedly proven to be contaminated. Green stated, I'm hopeful that the punishment will be on the very lowest end of how they determine these cases. Normally, there's a range of sanctions based on degree of fault, and when you have a situation where you have a contaminated supplement where it's not available in an internet search, it's not on a label. There's no way an athlete could have possibly known the banned substance was in there unless they would have sent it to one of the two WADA accredited laboratories in advance. We're going to see a reduced suspension for Garcia, and that is for certain. The tables have turned and all of a sudden things aren't looking too good for Haney or anyone who talked down on Garcia, including Floyd. Now I would love to see what Floyd's got to say about all this. The fans are already going crazy over this. Let's go through some of the initial reactions from the fans. One of the fans commented this under a post made by Happy Punch, so he'll still probably get a short suspension, but he'll keep the WMAO damn Devin Haney punching the air right now. Yeah, I have a strong feeling Devin Haney won't be showing his face anywhere for a while now. All that talk about Ryan being a cheater, well, how'd that turn out for you? A second fan stated, I told y'all Ryan is innocent. A third fan stated, I'm a Haney fan, but he's still lost. He got knocked down and made no adjustments for the left hook. If your own fans are not on your side, then you have some serious problems to deal with. And he's got a point that left hook dictated the fight from the get-go. The dream had no answer for it, and the left hook became his biggest nightmare. Ryan fought with courage and an admirable skill set. Yes, coming in at three pounds heavier may have played a big factor, 
But if you have a problem with it, take it up with Floyd Mayweather, because from the looks of it, it was his idea all along. But let's see what Floyd thinks of this contamination situation. What if Floyd is the one who's got something to do with this as well? I mean, with a guy like Floyd, you can't be too sure of anything, right? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.